hello everyone welcome back to another video this is qah here bringing you hopefully the final parts of yin lin's story quest please go check out part one and two and also my other videos that i have coming for you very very soon okay we are making our way to enter the underground ruins uh, I'm still discombobulated on where's the story going, but, um, yeah, let's get into it. Get into it, yeah. And my Doja Cat voice. Get into it, yeah. How y'all doing today, though? Y'all doing good? I'm doing okay as well. I've been sitting up in this hot old room, you know, pouring videos, busting down the content for y'all. I'm um, about to play some other games besides Genshin Impact once the story quest is said and done. Oh, oh, I didn't pass the undergrounds. Okay. I'm like the only person on the Wi Fi. Why is this, why is this lagging like this? No, no, we did not come here for you. Whatever you are, most likely a mosquito. We did not come. What is that? Making me see. This is too early. What? We did not come here. I don't. I don't even know where I'm going. Stop chasing me. R wrong nothing stop chasing me lower where stop chasing me why are you at level 90 leave me alone okay i'm i'm going into this now bye I'm sorry y'all had to see that. This is what happens when you're at AR-57 at row 8. You get random monsters that spam at the woodworks wanting to fight you out of nowhere. And then when their health bar gets low, they like to run. Yeah. We're at level 8 for you. We just jump right into it. No cutscene or nothing. Okay, let's see what she what she built like. Of course, she got her A1 day one weapon. Why does everybody have this Nublas four piece set? C3 makes sense. Talents. Okay, main DPS status. That's cool. Energy recharge. I have more energy recharge than this. Hopefully, it's not lagging like it is right now. Johnny, move so Yin Lin can shine. I don't know. Oh, this is what I said. But she sees me, so. I'm gonna pause right here for a second. Okay, y'all, this is like my third, this is like my fifth time recording this part of the video because Genshin decided it was a good idea to um, ju jump me directly into the story quest without me turning up the dialogue part. And 
for the life of me, I had to switch to two to three devices in order for this to kick me out the story quest so I can uh, uphold the dialogue so you can hear the voice lines. So we're going to redo this little battle part. Um, it's a lot of editing, so I'm just going to redo what I was initially doing in the first part. Um, I was looking at her weapons, day one, A1 weapon. Uh, artifacts, why does everybody start off with this Nablaz set, especially when it comes to like trial runs? C3, main DPS status. I have more energy recharge than this. Uh, you, Good roll. I know. Right? All right, maybe I'll take one more day. Okay, you can't interrupt me. Okay, I started from here. I didn't really do much, but this fight part. Gotcha. I'm not going to put in all the technical difficulties that I had. I'm just Take it easy. Oh my gosh. What I was what saying, I was, saying was, was, I had, I had a lot of technical, technical difficulties recording this. My second time recording. All of the shenanigans. I told, I told move. Move. But this shouldn't be too much trouble. Finally, Finally you can hear this. this. I fit the six time recording, recording this because the, the dialogue, dialogue of it of wasn't, wasn't on. on. And jump me directly, directly, directly into the story, story quest. quest. So yeah, so yeah, we're here. We're here. Hopefully, Hopefully you can, you can see, see, hear, hear everything, everything perfectly, perfectly clear. clear. Um, um take yeah. it easy. Yeah. Three ambassador here to meet Jiyi. Looks like he went through that door. The multiple times I had to see this part without any dialogue, I'm a little bit tense right now. Cause trying to record this for the fifth and sixth time without any dialogue, and then making sure my mic is on, and then making sure this on, I'm a little tense right now. I'm a little tense. That must be the emergency access route, right? Come on, let's hurry! Door is open. Catch up the uh, suspicious ambassador. Which way did he go? This is the way I started. Okay. But yeah, y'all didn't miss too much of the beginning, so... Okay, now we finally got a waypoint. We- oh, we're going up here? Are- am I jump? Am I going to jump? Okay. What is- why is it a flame in the air? I'm like a Hydro character. This is not gonna work. <laughs> oh, 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 uh, uh. More monsters to kill. Solidify! Things up, I'm Silver. <laughs> Take it easy. I feel like they just put on a random four piece head on her. Best believe you, if I were to put a four piece Nablaz set on her, I'm not going to be doing the amount of damage that she's doing. But this is C3, you know. Hey, look! Is that another way through? 
Before we transition on, can I please collect this chest? Please and thank you. Where did I go? Okay. That's all I need to know. Let me stop complaining and get back into the action. Got three spotlights. What do they do? Girl, good thing you got 36k worth of health, because you would have died. <clears throat> that wasn't our stop. The wind knows me. It came right down. It came right down. It came right down. It came right down. It came. Right down. It came. I thought that was her. No! They like, man, if you won't get off here, I'm gonna just go down. Gotcha. Take it easy. through here and get that chest <laughs> and that is what gets me take it easy Not start lagging right here. Movement path blocked by rocks. Oh, 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 they're spoiling us. So we can't get through. Uh, what rocks? Did I really did I really be movement and I could have just cut corners? It's a trap. 
uh, um, Okay, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. We're here. We're here. Fuck. Waters flowed into the groove, and now the statues have lit up. Okay, now we should be able to move the statues. We gotta solve another puzzle? I'm not good at solving puzzles. I mean, I already struggled through Iazuma. I don't need to struggle through the runes of Tarzan. And how are we supposed to go over there? Take it easy. technically needs to be moved and what technically can't be This is the construction workers emergency access route but it's closed tight Trying to break through would be risky Let's see if we can find another way. I'm so sick of the lag! Thank you. 
We should be nearly at the bottom now. Let's wrap this up. Stabilize! We should be nearly at the bottom now. Let's wrap this up. Um, hopefully y'all can hear me. This is my seventh time trying to record this video. I don't know what's going on with the PC version of Genshin Impact, but I'm uninstalling this game until Iruto's banner dropped. I didn't check my Wi-Fi connection, no other devices connected to this but mine. I had to network reset this with my PC. I had to troubleshoot it. I had to restart the router. I had to check the speed test. I had to restart my computer. I had to make sure all updates were clear for Genshin Impact. In this, I don't know what is going on. The mobile version is okay, but the PC version is trash. I'm uninstalling this game until Edito's banner drop. Once I'm done with this quest, I'm uninstalling this. Wake up, let's fight. Clouds high. The birds come. There is no yeah. escape. 
I should have put John Lee Shield on. And within this, within this part right here that y'all looking at, I could not switch players. I could not switch players. I just got a note. I'm used to my phone as my webcam, and like the amount of notifications I had at once was unnecessary. Sorry for making this uh this kind of tense, but I'm having so many technical difficulties, it's not even funny. Why is this giving me very Minecraft? What is what is going on right now? Mmm. I can tell from the aroma that this is very fine liquor indeed. I'm impressed. Come on, bottoms up. Uh, after you, of course. The way he said mmm was so... <coughs> oh, sorry, that went down the wrong way. I've never drunk anything this strong before. It'll take me some getting used to. <laughs> You'll get there. If you want to stay friends with us, you have to drink with us. <coughs> I'll do my best. You're more of a lightweight than I thought. Already struggling after one glass? The amount of peer pressure. Relax. He's not a drinker. I'm not either. I thought you were made of sterner stuff. You certainly kept it together when you were poisoning your teacher's soup. Come on, another round. Less talking, more drinking. <laughs> sure. You didn't leave me much of a choice, though, did you? Just the mention of poisoning sends shivers down my spine. Oh, so this is blackmail! Oh! I'm more timid than you realize. Every time I poisoned him, I had to hide away at home for a few days because I was so scared of getting caught. Look, I know it has not been easy for you, my friend. We appreciate all your hard work. I'm sorry to keep pausing this, but every time I poison him... Oh no, you need to be in jail. You, you, need, to, you need to leave. But oh, I have to say... You really are quite a genius at poisoning people. I mean, the poison we brought from Snezhnaya is as strong as this wine, but you found a way to turn it into an imperceptible, slow-acting poison and came up with the idea of delivering it through fish soup. What was it you said? Oh, oh yeah. You said the soup's fishy flavor neutralizes the pungency of the poison, and this process even makes the soup tastier as a result. How did you think of that? It struck me one day when I was fishing. I'm lucky it did. Otherwise, I'm not sure I would have been able to fool Uncle Tien. You have performed excellently. The Fatui will continue to provide the support you need to consolidate your position as Tian Shu. Of course, this is as long as you continue to do as we instruct. Aside from Ching Shu Pool, we also have some other requests for you, which we will inform you of in due course. Don't worry. Whatever tasks you have for me, I will perform them diligently. Did you hear that? It was poison! That's why Uncle Tian is Feeling well recently. It's all Juryi's doing. What a nasty guy. Seize him. Hold on. Did you bring a camera? If not, you can use mine. This is quite a scene. We have to capture it for posterity. Why is the camera being spoke with a K? <sighs> Excellent liquor. We've uh, seen no progress on the diplomatic front, and everyone has been eyeing up the treasure of Ching Shu Pool. It's been a real headache for me. But soon, everything will be taken care of, 
And I can report back on a successful mission. Thank you, Jury. Ah, <sighs> I remember when I first saw you. I knew right away that you would make a good partner for us. Hey, do you still remember what I said to you? How could I forget? You said a lowly commoner like me could never be seen as a serious candidate for the Tianshu, no matter how hard I work. The only way is for you to shine bright in the Tianshu's darkest moment. I think you were absolutely right. Yes. Under normal circumstances, the gap between you and other people could only ever grow wider over time. Just look at your two competitors. Chen Wei had wealth. Ming Bo had reputation. But you? You had nothing. You were just another nobody. And that's why I decided to help you. You know, there's an old saying in the Fatui. Give a starving dog a bone, and it'll guard your home for the rest of its life. Yes, I cannot thank you enough for your generous support. <laughs> uh, you know, the best thing about you is that you do as you're told without complaining. Hey, keep up the good work, and I can assure you, you'll never have to worry about Mora again. Uh, heck, when you're not in the company of the Fatui, you'll be able to throw your weight around as much as you want. How about that? Uncle Gao said that Jur E has low self-esteem. Seems he was right. He was worried that whatever advantage he might have now will diminish over time, so the Fatui persuaded him that he should act while he can. Do you have any more film in the camera? Then get ready to use it. Tonight's grand finale should be coming up any minute now. How well this goes for us depends on how Jur E plays his hand. Ooh, is there any more alcohol? Hmm, go on, fill me up. I'm in a good mood today, and I'm gonna drink my fill. Hmm, make sure to get me home safely afterward. There's only a little left. Here, I'll fill your glass. If you like it, I can bring you some more next time. Mm. Oh. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> this is the good stuff. It is great. Huh? <coughs> <coughs> what the? Jerry, you... you poisoned my wine? But... but when? You seem surprised, Mr. Yusupov. You... how could you? How could I not? I've sacrificed years of my life studying and reflecting to prepare myself for this position. And in the end, I even had to poison my own teacher. You really think I'd put myself through all that just to become your little puppet? I don't want to bow down to anyone ever again. And that includes you. You imbecile. It's the Fatui who got you to where you are. Do you understand? If I disappear with no explanation, the embassy will come after you. They'll get to the bottom of this. Mark my words. Do you see the haystack in the corner? Underneath it is a pile of explosives. And next door in the dark room are the three undercover agents you sent to infiltrate the Black Cliff Forge. I'm gonna stay here till I see you slip into unconsciousness. Then I'm gonna set this on fire. Once the flames burn through the hay, they'll ignite the explosives, the ruins will collapse, and everything will be buried. What? What do you hope to? I took the liberty of leaving some evidence of your contact with the undercover agents at the Black Cliff Forge. It won't take long for people to join the dots. Two missing person cases will become one as the truth gradually reveals itself. The Fatui planted undercover agents in the Black Cliff Forge to steal their signature ruin-grade explosives. 
Their plan was to blow through the solid floor tiles in the dead of night and seize the treasure of Qing Shu Pool. Ah, but things didn't quite go to plan. Mistakes were made that led to the accidental deaths of the entire crew. Faced with the overwhelming evidence, the Embassy won't investigate this any further. In fact, they'll be only too happy to blame it all on a rogue operation by you. It explains why you acted alone, while exonerating the rest of the Embassy of any liability. Of course, none of that will have anything to do with me. When all of this comes to my attention, I'm afraid I'll have no choice but to cancel the Qingshu Pool redevelopment plan immediately. I guess then, I'll be Tian Shu in my own right, with a clean record and well out of the Fatui's reach. <laughs> Jerry, do you really think you're gonna get away with this? The Fatui has a record of everything. That includes the poison, all interactions between us, even my trip here tonight. After I die, they'll come looking, and they'll get to the bottom of this. A record? Oh, you must mean the one in the hands of your second-in-command, Theophon? How... How do you know about that? Because when you contacted me, I also made contact with your associates. I have Theophon to thank for providing me with the poison I used on you today. He'll help me tie up all the loose ends. After all, your untimely demise comes with a few perks for him. He has been eyeing your position for a long time now. <sighs> that traitor! <coughs> Are ye you? Shh, 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 shh. Relax. It's over. After tonight, everyone gets what they want. And anyone else in the know is either my accomplice or about to be taken out of the picture. Sweet dreams, Mr. Yusupov. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Now we finally get into the juicy part of the story quest. Now I can't say the climax of this was very confusing because I'm thinking the entire time we're going to make a Fatui Harvester uh, a manifesto and then I realized he was trying to kill the Fatui official. Glad we got clarification there. But let's continue on. If it will let me. I did a little surveying on the way here and found that you'd left yourself three escape routes in case things went south. I have them all surrounded. If you're thinking of trying anything, save yourself the effort. The game's up. We were here the whole time and have pictures of everything. They came out pretty nicely. Wanna see them? The game's up? Forgive me, I'm not quite sure what you're referring to, Miss Yelon. She's trying to say your jig is up. Your jig is up. Your jig is up. Your jig is up. Am I Jocelyn Hernandez's voice? My jig is up. My jig is up. My jig is up. My jig is up. Okay, I'll stop. I happen to discover a Fatui operation here, so I approached them on the pretext of joining forces and eventually brought them down from within. If it pleases you, Miss Yelan, I'd be only too happy to have you join me in investigating this matter. This is how you want to play it, huh? Fine. You do you. All we need to do to convict you is establish that the poison in his system is the same as in Uncle Tien's. <sighs> hmm. Nothing else you wanted to add? Let's leave it there, then. Time to go. One wrong move and it all comes crashing down. I should have been more careful. You followed him here, didn't you? 
I was so focused on keeping myself out of sight, I forgot he was a potential liability. Let's talk about this, Yelan. I gave you my word that I would live up to the Tianshu name, and that much I can still guarantee. <laughs> Your point being? When I take office, I can guarantee that I will act in your best interests. In fact, all of you here tonight can expect very generous treatment in the future. I don't deny that I used underhanded methods to get here. But given my lowly origins, what other choice did I have? <laughs> you still don't get it, do you? Even now. What do you think? That's what we think. Hand on the hip. <laughs> Confused. <laughs> well, well, Uncle T think Uncle T has always trusted you. That is true. Uncle T has always trusted you. Exactly. Jury. Clever people can always come up with a good excuse. But while you might be able to get other people to believe you, you'll never be able to deceive yourself. Narcissistic people come up with good excuses that's narcissistic behavior and how did homie in the back didn't die yet didn't you get poisoned what kind of poison is he on he didn't die yet there's nothing wrong with wanting to win other people's respect but when has uncle tian ever looked down on you he was like a teacher and a father to you, but you chose to repay that by poisoning him. Whatever positive goal you may have started out with, you threw it away in that moment. Wait a minute. So, we're looking at Uncle T here? Not the Fatui- This ish is confusing. I'm gonna stop talking. That's enough. I... Of course. What makes this even crueler is that you managed to convince yourself there was no other way. Uncle Tien was always going to give you this opportunity. Even if you'd done nothing at all. Out of everyone in the world, he is the one who trusts you the most. So much that he drank your fish soup without doubting you, not for one second. That's enough. That's enough. Life is like what are you gonna do? Cry about it? It cannot be rushed. Whatever you do, impatience will accomplish nothing. And why is he getting a cutscene over Yin Lin? Once, desperate to prove myself. Only later did I realize things do not always turn out the way you plan. But you have to keep calm to carry on. You're still young. Be patient. Believe in yourself. And don't look outside yourself to prove your value. <laughs> Where's Jury these days? It's been a long time since he last paid me a visit. <laughs> Maybe he's just busy. <laughs> well, next time, if he doesn't bring a pot of piping hot fish soup, don't let him in. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you were thinking about, you'll have plenty of time to mull it over in prison. Oh, I almost forgot. If the Fatui find out what happened today, prison might not turn out to be the safest place for you. Trying to have friends on both sides, it has a way of turning everyone against you. But right now, I have an opportunity for you. Huh? Sorry, things are about to get extremely busy for me. Let's meet at Yenshang Tea House tomorrow morning. I'll have someone remove the explosives. Then, there's someone I have to go and see. Need our help with that? No, it could be dangerous. You should leave this one to the professionals. Don't worry, as long as they're willing to cooperate, this'll be a straightforward deal. Get some rest. See you tomorrow.
finally, we done with this domain. The multiple times I have did this domain. Technical difficulties. I I'm not gonna hold you though. Those little poses right there are made for some hardcore thumbnail shots. <laughs> oh, I have to literally wait until the next day. Oh. I thought it was going to like automatically go. There is now no poison left in his system, but recovery from the damage already done will not happen overnight. Dr. Baiju, is my father going to be... <sighs> you needn't worry too much. Keep taking the prescribed medicine every day, and a full recovery will take at most two to three years. Oh, two to three years? What? In real life, you die. But this is getting impact. But uh, I just realized he was poisoning multiple people. I don't know why they didn't emphasize that in the dialogue. But, uh, okay. It's good we caught it in time. A few days later and the toxin would have built up in the internal organs. At that point things would have been much more serious. How did they successfully secure such a seldom seen poison? It seems the Fatui are extremely resourceful. I'm sorry to keep pausing this and whatnot, but I love Bazu's Bazu's voice. <laughs> I love his voice line, like if we would have caught it in sir, it would have got more serious. <laughs> I can't take it seriously. Unfortunately for them, they were up against us. Uncle Tian will be heading off now. Re remember to get plenty of rest and avoid overexerting yourself while you're recovering. Don't worry, I will. Thank you very much. Ah, you're here too? Thank you for all you've done to resolve this situation. But I'll have to make some tea in a moment. You simply have to try it. Yes, the exhaustion seems to have gone. My mind is steadily getting clearer again. Luckily, it looks like choosing the Tian Shu's successor is suddenly not such a pressing issue after all. My work is mostly wrapped up, so I thought I'd take a minute to check in here. I love how I'm pronouncing her name is Ye Lin, and everybody's pronouncing her name is Ye Lin, or is equally messing it up as well, but I'm just going to call her Ye Lin. The assessment process comes to an end here, Uncle Tian. In my opinion, Jur Yi is not suitable for the position. But Chen Wei and Ming Guo both have potential. 
You have my gratitude. <sighs> People can change their loyalties easily. I've always known this. But whenever it happens, it's still a dismal experience. Is it just Paimon? Or is Uncle Tien not that surprised? <laughs> Don't underestimate Uncle Tien. He wouldn't have appointed me as assessment officer if he hadn't had his doubts about Jur E. Normally, the Yuehai Pavilion would be responsible for assessing the candidates. Isn't that right, Uncle Tien? Yes, to be quite honest, I wanted to trust him unreservedly. But I have to be responsible with the position of Tian Shu. When I first met Juri, I wondered if he had approached me with a hidden agenda. So I secretly investigated him. I concluded that he had no ulterior motives whatsoever. He just saw me as an ordinary fishing friend. In the end, even he changed. But when did it start? I never had any plans to recommend him directly, but I always intended to give him the chance to compete on a level playing field. Family background and fame mean everything to many people, but I don't attach great importance to them. I had no reputation to speak of when I first became Tian Shu. I relied on Ganyu's assistance for all manner of things. What I really admired about Juri was his intelligence and resilience. I have to admit, he's a smart guy and very cautious. The intel suggests that the Fatui saw him as very low risk, but Juri was still extremely careful with the poisoning. He chose that specific liquor from Shinyue Kiosk because the fiery flavor would mask the bitterness of the poison, and he chose to wait until the Fatui official was drunk and had his guard down before delivering it to him. He also installed a secret compartment in the wine pot he bought to hold the poison. As the amount of liquor went down, he'd shake the pot to release the poison from the compartment into the liquor. Afterwards, we also found he had an antidote on him. Had the Fatui official grown suspicious, Juri would have drunk the poisoned wine himself, and then found an opportunity to take the antidote shortly afterwards. But that's still really dangerous. Yes. Had he drunk the poisonous wine, he still would have faced serious health consequences despite taking the antidote. He didn't hesitate to put himself in harm's way to achieve his goal. How is Juri now? Well, I mean, he is sitting in a jail cell. Like Yenfei says, everyone who breaks the law has to pay the price. Still, he's cooperating. He didn't turn down my offer to strike a deal. I'll make sure there are plenty of guards around to keep him safe from anything the Fatui might be planning. A deal? Does this have to do with what you said to him when you arrested him? Yes, Juri's not the one I'm interested in. If he was as far as this went, I'd have handed the case off to my subordinates as soon as I realized. But once the Fatui became involved, things got a whole lot more interesting. I thought I might have the chance to catch a big fish. Well, did you? Almost. Unfortunately, it slipped off the hook at the last second. Uncle Tian? Yeon? What are you talking about? Paimon doesn't understand. <laughs> Jur E colluded with the Fatui to try and secure the position of Tian Shu. Or, to put it the other way around, the Fatui made an attempt to interfere in the Tian Shu selection process. With Yusupov in our hands and a statement from Jur E, we could afford to continue with a diplomatic offensive. Also, we'd be able to gain control of Theophon, Yusupov's second in command. Then we'd have a pawn in the ranks of the Fatui. Pawns like this can be major assets. They open up all sorts of new options. I'm sorry, but I'm kind of sp spacing out here and there because get, they love to talk in circles at this point. He's in jail. Great. Uncle T knows. Uncle T's doing better. 
Yen Lin done Ye Lin has done her job successfully. We're talking about future plans for the manifesto. Now you can go pick the other dude. <laughs> Cause I told you he was better than this dude. What else are we talking about here? <laughs> Why else did you think I was investing so much time and effort into this case? So okay, well, did your plan succeed? We got halfway. The first part went off without a hitch, and we passed all the information on to Lady Ningguang. But when we tried to make contact with Theophan, he was gone, along with all the evidence. Uh, the Fatui must be spying on us. Otherwise, they've never been able to respond so quickly. I found out from other sources that the Harbinger Regrater got involved. The Fatui's main forces aren't concentrated here. Regrater was only treating this as a peripheral concern. It's a pity that Theophon got away, but knowing which Harbingers are still looking at Liyue is something. It gives me a starting point for my next mission. I have to ask, Yelan. Do you have any desire to take over the position of Tianshu yourself? I remember you showed some interest a few days ago at Yinshang Tea House. In my estimation, you are more than competent. Oh, that. <laughs> I was obviously joking. I prefer my current life. There's danger and there's excitement. Although it'd still be a behind-the-scenes role, as Tianshu, I wouldn't have the chance to get involved in anything truly clandestine or face any real danger. <sighs> All right, I'm done here. Time for me to go. I'm heading off again in a few days and I still have to prepare. Where are you off to this time? As you might have guessed, <laughs> it's for me to know and you to find out. But I'm sure if you keep going as you are, getting yourselves involved in other people's business all the time, you're sure to get caught up in another misadventure before too long. Hey, 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 Don't, don't, don't throw shots at the traveler. We are an adventurer. This was part of a commission to help you. Don't pull a Yemiko and start throwing shots. Do not pull a Den and start throwing shots at the Traveler. We are here to help. And without our help, you would have been in a sticky situation. Maybe I'll see you the next time danger beckons. Until then, keep your wits about you. A lot of people are watching you for a lot of reasons. If you have any more questions, just ask Uncle Tian. After the recent turn of events, I'd say he owes you one, wouldn't you? I'm sorry if y'all rude people throwing shots at me and the travelers for helping y'all. Huh. We just doing the job. Don't disrespect us. I'm gonna end it right here. She could have said thank you and kept it pushing, but no. She had to send a little shot. First thing I'm going to talk about, make sure you know which side you on in 2.6. And now we got her talking about, well, you need to make sure you mind other people's business. And woo, woo, woo. Girl, if it wasn't for us, you would have been still trapped down there in the undergrounds. Of the Charizum. I'm in here. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tired of these disrespectful five star characters. And I'm gonna see y'all soon. I'm gonna see y'all soon. It's been a long day. Don't judge me.